What's up guys, welcome to Pursue Righteousness, where our goal is to equip you with the tools to study the Bible, think about it well, and apply it to everyday life. Right now, we're about to dive into Luke 6, 29a. So if you would, go ahead and get ready, and let's dive in. Okay, so if you're Luke 6, 29a, say a word. I'm here, so I'm gonna say a word, and let's get started. The first thing I kind of see as I'm looking at this passage overall is the word strikes. And just kind of as I'm looking at this word, it's almost like we just have kind of such a familiarity with this passage as a culture that this verse honestly doesn't really strike us maybe with kind of that same gut punch that it might have for the audience back then. So it's kind of, I just want to kind of take away kind of whatever familiarity you may have with th this verse in particular to one who strikes you on the cheek off for the other also but like come on seriously if someone punches you like let's say like somebody slaps you on the cheek you're not supposed to slap them back come on that's this is crazy this is nonsense yet this is what Jesus says and so kind of what this word strikes I me mean, I actually looked it up in the Greek it says Tupto, and it sounds a lot like tiptoe, I know. It's not the word tiptoe, it's tuptoe. A huge difference. But this word strikes basically does just mean to hit. What I think is cool is as I was reading this through my commentary Bible, which for me, a commentary Bible is just a really cool tool that helps me to be able to just look at a passage from a scholar's perspective. And just kind of as I was reading what the Sermon on the Mount version of this passage and Matthew has to say, this is what the Matthew passage has to say and what the scholars said about it. So I'll start in Matthew 5, 38. You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But no, no, this is what Jesus says. But I say to you, do not resist the one who is evil. But if anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. And I just, I really love the way that the scholars said the commentary. And I was just like, I'm just going to read that because I don't know that I could recapture that any better. And this is what the commentaries had to say on it. One should not return an insulting slap, which would lead to escalating violence. So basically, you can just kind of like slap, 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 slap. You're just slapping each other both on the face at this point. No, it's or is that going to get anyone? In the case of a more serious assault, Jesus' words should not be taken to prohibit self-defense, which I thought was an interesting note and also gives some Bible verses to back that up, which is Luke 12, 11, 22, 36 through 38, Acts 22, 1, and Acts 24, 10. Tomorrow, or I guess I should say the next episode, will be Luke 6, 29b. And basically, again, just write out your thoughts on a piece of paper or in the comments below. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for this day. Lord, I thank you for this opportunity to come before you, Lord, with my friend. Lord, I pray that you would just be blessing them right now, Lord. And Lord, that you would, Lord, give them and show them the wisdom of God, Lord, and that they would be tuned in to you, God, on when is the time to fight, when is the time to rest, Lord. Lord, that it would truly just be you loving through them, Lord, in each scenario. Lord, I thank you for this day, Lord, and Lord, I just pray that your will would be done. Lord, thank you, and in Jesus' name, amen. Be sure to rate this on Spotify, five stars if you enjoyed this. If not, um, anyways, no, I'm, I'm hoping you enjoyed this. Either way, to God be the glory. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day. God bless.